This is our lesson about the letter N that says N. Before we get started, let's look at all the letters that we already have learned. We have learned in their uppercase and lowercase form, okay? We have learned about the B that says B. There it is as a capital. Can you write that? And as a lowercase, the B that says B. We have learned about the D that says D. Here it is as a capital letter, capital D that says D. And as a lowercase letter, the lowercase D that says D. We have learned about the letter F that says F. Here's a capital F that says F. And a lowercase f that says f. Do you have those three down? We've also learned about the letter H that says h. Here is a capital H that says h. And a lowercase h that says h. We learned about the J that says j. Here's a capital J that says j, and a lowercase j that says j. We learned about the K that says k. Here's a capital K that says k, and a lowercase k that says k. We learned about the L that says o. Here's a capital L that says o. And a lowercase l that says o. We learned about the m that says m. Mm. Here is a capital M that says m. Mm. And a lowercase m that says m. Mm. And today, our letter is the n that says n. Mm. As a capital letter, it looks like this. And as a lowercase letter, it looks like this. So let's write the capital N that says N five times, and we'll say its sound each time we write it. We start at the top line, go down to the bass line, back up to the top line, down to the right, back up to the top line, and down to the bass line. Capital N that says N. That's our first one. Let's do it again. N. And again. N. And again. Mm. And one more. Capital N that says N. Mm. Okay, let's do a lowercase n. A lowercase n starts at the midline, goes to the baseline, curves back up, and then down. It's like the M, except it only has one hump. Let's do that four more times. N that says N. Mm. This is a lowercase N that says N. Mm. A lowercase N that says N. Mm. One last time N that says N. Mm. Let's write a few words with the N that says N. Mm. We will write them with lowercase letters. Okay? N can say N at the beginning of a word, like in nut. Here is the N that says N, followed by a U that says A, uh, and a T that says T. Say it together fast, nut. The N can say N in the middle of a word, like in fancy. 
Do you hear that N mm in the middle of fancy? Here's how that is spelled. You've got the F that says F. You already know that one. The A that says A. Ah. The N that says N. Mm. It's today's letter. The second sound of C, where C says S. And a Y that makes its fourth sound the long E sound. E. Say it together fast. Fancy. The N can also say N at the end of a word, like in barn. To spell barn, we'll start with the B sound. The B that says B. You know that one. Then we've got the R-controlled vowel sound R. That's spelled A-R. And finally, we have the N that says N. Say it together fast. Barn. Now we're going to get a new page and we are going to write a poem. This is a picture of two little girls and one of them is very sad and the other is comforting the sad girl. And this poem is about why this girl is so sad. The title is, It Does Not Help to Cry. Let's write that out. I-T. It. Does. That's a capital D that says D. You know that one? O-E-S. Does. Not. This one starts with our letter of the day. The capital N that says N. N. Ah. It's a short O that says ah. That is a T that says T. It does not help to cry. Help starts with a letter we know, the capital H that says H. Then a E L P. H. E. O. P. Help. Two is T O and cry. We've not learned the C yet because it makes two sounds, but this is the hard sound of C, the K sound, followed by the R that says R, and the second sound of Y, where it makes a long I sound, I, K, R, I. Say it together fast, cry. Okay, so there's, there's the name of our poem, and I will highlight the N here with blue. That is our letter of the day. Okay? Here's how the poem goes. Jane fell down and tore her dress and cried and cried and cried. Crying will not mend your dress, said Millie at her side. So now we know who these girls are. This is Jane who's crying, and this is Millie who says that's not going to help. So let's write this out. Jane fell down. I hear that mm sound twice. Jane, j, a, n. It ends with the n sound, doesn't it? It begins with the j sound, the j that says j. Then you've got a, that's the vowel, the long a, that's where a says its name. And we've got n. And then we need a silent final e to make sure that this says a and not a. Ah. We will learn more about that later. J, A, 
N. Jane. Fell. That's f. The F that says f. E. The E that says e. All. The L that says all. It's spelled with two L's. Fell. Down. This is a word that ends with the n sound. D begins with the D that says D. Ow. In the middle, we've got the O W phonogram that says ow. But it ends with the n. The letter of the day. N that says n. And. Jane fell down and. That also has our N that says N in the middle of the word. Begins with a short A, A. Ah. Our letter of the day, N that says N. And you know this one, the D that says D. And Jane fell down and tore her dress. Tore. T O R E. Her is H that says H. You know that one? The E R phonogram that says er. Dress is D that says D. R that says er. E that says E. Eh. And S S that says S. Now for the second line of this poem. It goes, and cried, and cried, and cried. So each time we write the word and, we're going to have our N that says N in there. Ah. N. Oops. My pen's going a little slow there. Duh. And. Cried is C. R. I E D. That's the past tense of cry. It happened in the past. And cried and cried and cried. Ah. Mm. D, cried, k, er, I, d. Then you've got a semicolon here. Now this next line goes in what's called quotations, because this is something somebody is saying. In this case, it's Millie. This girl right here says this. She says, crying will not mend your dress. We've got crying is C-R-Y-I-N-G. Are you writing along with me? Always write along with me if you can. It's very good practice. This says, w -e -o. say it fast, will not. N Ah, t. N that says n. O that says a. Ah, t that says t. Say it together fast. Not. Mend. M. The M that says m. E. The short e that says e. Eh, n. The N that says n. And d. The d that says d. Say it together fast. Mend. Your. Is the Y that says Y and an R controlled vowel sound. Or your dress. That is the D that says D, the R that says R, the E that says E, eh, S S that says S, comma. That's the end of your quotation marks. That's what she said. Crying will not mend your dress. And the last line of the poem goes like this. 
said Millie at her side. S-A-I-D, that's how you spell said. Normally A-I makes a long A sound, A, but said doesn't sound quite right. So we use the short E sound, eh. Said Millie, M that says mm, I that says eh, LL that says o, I E that says E, Millie at. Short A, ah, T that says t, at. Her, we did this earlier, the H that says h. The ER that says er and side. S, S that says s. I that says I. D that says d. A silent E that makes sure the I is long and a period for the end. Let's go through and look at all our ends that say n. Jane. Fell down and tore her dress and cried and cried and cried. Crying will not mend your dress said Millie at her side. There's one more thing I wanted to show you about the letter N, and it's a couple places where you could get tripped up, okay? There is a multi-letter phonogram, NG, that says ng. This is actually one of the smallest sounds in our language a phoneme, just like the short A, ah, is a phoneme, and G, ng, is a phoneme. And you'll see this in words like ring, or sing, or playing, Playing. That's quite common. And the N doesn't really say N, it says ng. Ng. It sounds a little odd to hear it all alone. Ng. But when you hear it in ring or sing or playing, it makes a little more sense. So look out for that. NG is always going to say ng. Another one to look out for is GN. If you see GN together, that's the reverse of NG. GN, the G is silent and the N says N. So a word where you would see that would be gnat. That is a little tiny insect. Gnat. And another place that could stump you is K-N. This is a multi-letter phonogram where the K is silent and the N says its sound. Mm. You might see that in a word like no. Like I know where the candy is. We will have a lesson about each of these phonograms, NG, GN, KN. So if you forget it, don't worry about it. But uh, as you're practicing reading and you see this, if you remember it, it does help to know that NG says N, GN says N, and KN says N. That's all for today. 
See you again next time. And I'm back because I forgot to give you your reading assignment. I want you to have someone read you a story from one of these two books, either Raggedy Ann stories or Raggedy Andy stories. And they will be linked to from my website. Enjoy the stories. See you next time.